welcome to my channel. I am Fontaine, and today I am going to read my audio blog titled, How Can You Be High Value and Low Value at the Same Time? For the written version of this blog, visit me at my website. I'll leave the link listed for you below. Now, I wasn't going to say nothing, but since y'all brought it up, go ahead and make sure you subscribe. Go on now. Go on and get. I'll wait. Ooh, child, I thought I was going to have to tell y'all twice. Now, let's get into this audio blog. just say that all this talk about high value is so triggering. I hate that a person is valued based on their income or potential income instead of their character. Now listen, you cannot be high value and low value at the same time. And if you think you can, then go ahead and explain it to me. If you make six figures a year, drive a very expensive car, and live in a luxury home, but you're an abusive person to your significant other, how are you still considered high value? Now, this abuse I'm talking about can be physical, emotional, financial, or what have you. But just because you bring in a large amount of income, you're still seen as high value? And let's say you take your family on these lavish vacations all the time, but cannot remember the last time you took your family to church or the last time you prayed over your family, but we're still supposed to consider you high value, right? What if you are a person that comes home every day to your family and you provide very well for them, but turns out you still have a little side thing? You, you're still high value? I'm asking for myself. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Thank you for coming to my village, Has No Elders. I think you'll like it here. Until next time.